Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into JSX. Well, JSX stands for JavaScript XML. JSX allows us to write HTML elements within a JavaScript code. Well, let us create example and let's understand the JSX with all these points. So here, let me head over to the base code. In order to understand the JSX, let's create a new file. So go to components folder, right click on components folder, click on new file and let's give file name as hello world.js and within a hello world.js file let's create a functional component so let us use arrow function to create a functional component so here const and then component name hello world and then parenthesis and then arrow symbol and here we have functional component body and this functional component return the JSX code. For example, let us say h1 hello world. Perfect. Next, in order to use this component in other component, we have to export it. So here export default and then hello world. Perfect. Next, go to app.js and here we have app component. So within this app component, let me comment out this and just use hello world component. So here, hello world and just close it. And make sure that hello world component is imported at the top. And just save this file and look at the browser, you can see hello world is printed. Next, let us understand the JSX. Well, if you go to hello world component, this hello world component returns the JSX code. Well, JSX basically allows us to write HTML elements within a JavaScript code. So this is a JavaScript code and JSX allows us to write this, you know, HTML element within a JavaScript code. All right. So even we can assign this HTML element to a JavaScript variable. For example, here, let me create a JavaScript variable. Let us say my element equal to and let us assign this HTML element as a value to this variable and just return this javascript variable and just save this file and if you look at the browser hello world is printed okay so it means jsx allows us to write html element in the javascript code like this next let us take a look into next point jsx makes it easier to write and add html elements in a react well without using jsx we can also create the user interface in a react application well react provides create element method which we can use to create the react element but this jsx makes it easier to write and add the html elements in react so react team recommended to use a jsx okay so now let me demonstrate how we can create the react element using create element and how we can replace this code with jsx so let us go to vs code and here let us see how to create the react element using create element method first so here let me comment of this and go to return statement and here just call react and make sure that react is imported from the react library and this react provides create element method over here and then we need to pass the html element tag name so in our case h1 and then let us pass second parameter as a null and then third parameter as a content of this you know HTML element so the content is hello world and just save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see hello world is printed well notice here this is the JSX code and this is the react dot create element code which one looks easier obviously the JSX code looks easier right because using JSX we can write the code like HTML code isn't it but if we use react dot create element then we have to call this create element method on each and every HTML element. For example, let us say we want to include this h1 tag within a div, then we have to pass div and then here we need to again call react dot create element method and then we need to pass the tag name h1 and then second parameter null and third parameter the content that is 
hello world and just save this file and look at the browser hello world and next same code we can rewrite in the JSX like this for example here we can just include this h1 element in a div all right okay so if you look at the code again using JSX we can write this much of code only but if we use react.create element method then we have to write a lot of code okay so this is how the JSX makes it easier to write and add the HTML element in a react all right and react team recommended to use JSX approach instead of this react.create element approach all right and in this course we are going to use a JSX to create the react element or user interface next let us take a look into next point JSX will be converted into JavaScript on a browser using transpiller bubble.js well react will convert a JSX into JavaScript that browser understands all right so browser basically does not understand the JSX code right so react will convert this JSX into JavaScript using bubble JavaScript library so once it will convert JSX into JavaScript then browser will load that JavaScript code in a browser all right so this is how the JSX works in a react application 